What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video and I'm just checking in on you. How you doing? What's going on? Now today is February 1st and that means this is going to be your Cassie Mendoza weekly vendor reset and must buys. Now before we get to Cassie Mendoza we have to find her location and in order to do so you have to find the snitch. So let me show you my exact location. So we look on the map here. I am just uh, just west of the castle settlement underneath the little parking garage. And if you see uh, this little trail right here, you can see the exact you know movement I took to get here. Now my exact coordinates, let me see, are 884 by 3664. And again, I'm right next to the Castle Settlement. So like all of my Cassie Mendoza vendor reset videos, please put in the comment section below where you find the snitch. You know, whatever location you might typically find him, where you found him today, what have you. But to help out the community, we need to, you know, share with each other where you find the snitch because it is different for everyone. Every instance, there is a different snitch location. There are over a dozen snitch locations. So if you can't find them, just jump down into the comments and hopefully someone can help you out. But without further ado, accept the bounty. Now you can go to your map, go to that bounty, and then click go to details, and then click abort. Now this will keep the bounty on your list forever until you are ready to come do this and if you are um, set to a global difficulty of heroic then all these bounties you save will also be heroic now now that we did that let's look for the white shopping cart icon on the map here it is so this week she is in judiciary square now i highlight it that way i can just run to it as quickly as possible and then the best way to get all the way over there is to fast travel to the DZ East Charlie checkpoint. Access complete. And here we go. So what you do here, it's probably about two blocks away. So you hang a right, and then you're basically going to go diagonal until you hit this main road. And her location is actually on top of a... American food store. It's pretty funny. I'll show you what I mean as soon as we get there. But with all of that said and done, we have season 11 coming out next week. We have the live stream event on Monday, which uh, I should be covering. We'll see. We have the actual update on Tuesday. And then that's it. We're off to the races. Hopefully we get the ninja bike messenger bag out of the seasonal reward track. But who knows? Um, only time will tell. And I'm probably um, safe to say that on Monday when they do their live stream, we'll get details on that. And also the new game mode, probably season 11 and year 5 stuff. I mean, they're probably going to cover everything Division related um, in there. I mean, fingers crossed for some Heartland uh, news, but we'll see. All right. So you can see right here, American Food Store. So go into the store, and through the back door, you're going to have two different exits. You're going to have the left to the alleyway, or the right through the rope. You want to take the rope. So take the rope all the way up, and then you will see a ladder right here off your right shoulder. Now, if you have never been to this part of the game, there will be a collectible right here on top of this crate. And then when you go inside, jump through the window, and then there will be a side mission right here if you have never been here before but if not just go over here to the bathroom and here's cassie mendoza so you can timestamp this do whatever you need to but here is your cassie mendoza weekly vendor reset and must buys here we go so starting off at the top we have our named items followed by the gear set items and then the high end items now the named items do come with a disclaimer that if you are new or returning or you just have never, you know, accomplished any of the hunters 
you are only going to see these top two named items. You have to unlock the bottom two named items. So for the Shield Splinterer, the only way to unlock this is you have to hunt down and eliminate all of the Year 1 Hunters and then open up the Ivory Chest that is in the base of Ops in Washington, D.C. Once you do that, you'll receive this weapon and then she will sell it every week thereafter. Now, the same logic kind of applies for the Hunter Killer chess piece. The only difference is, is that this is all about Year 2 stuff. So, Warlords of New York, Year 2 Hunters, you need to hunt down and eliminate all of them, and then open up the off-white chest that is in the Haven Settlement in New York City. Once you do that, you will receive this chest, and then she will sell it every week thereafter. Now... Let's, uh, let's get on with this. So starting off at the top, we have the Dare. This is the named LMG with perfect flatline. Now this week it comes with crit hit damage. Now all of these attributes are, eh, they're okay. But what I would do here is reroll that crit hit damage off for damage to armor. And then just optimize the LMG and damage targets at a cover. Once you do that, you are good to go. Next up we have the Sacrifice chest piece. This is the exact same chest piece that I'm wearing right now on my character. The only difference is, is I'm running it with all crit. Now this one comes with weapon handling and health. What I would do is reroll that health off for like crit chance, headshot, something like that. And then utilize that uh, weapon damage and weapon handling. Now you'd have to optimize the other two attributes to make it worthwhile. But once you do, it'll be a lot of fun. Then we have the shield splinterer. This is the named F2000 with Perfect Optimist. Now this week it comes with magazine size, which is perfect for, uh, what was it, the Arcabas de Brazos? And, or Brazos de Arcabas, my bad. And the True Patriot. Both of those give you magazine size um, increases, and you could easily put those on with this and then have a shield splinterer with like a, you know, a 60, 65 round magazine. Pretty cool. And then finally, we have the Hunter Killer chest piece for our named items. And this one, it is your named Golan Gear with Perfect Intimidate. And this week, it comes with Armor Region and Status Effects, which is pretty nice. Now, the Status Effects doesn't really help out this chest piece. However, remember that the Golan Gear brand set bonus just from running this one piece of gear would give you Status Effects as well. Running two would give you armor region, so this kind of uh, gives you a reason to run it for either armor region or status effects, or both, by that means. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Now, moving on to the gear set items. We have a Umbra Initiative backpack with skill haste. Negotiator's Dilemma chess piece with repair skills. Hunter's Fury gloves with hazard protection. Hardwired knee pads with repair skills. Umbra Initiative holster with health. And then a True Patriot mask with explosive resistance. Now moving on to our high-end items. We have a Carbine 7 with max headshot. Nice. Very nice. But then it also does come with that overflowing. And the Carbine 7 will always... Uh, come with that overflowing. So having this with the max headshot, uh, it's okay. I would rather have damage targets at a cover or damage to armor there. That's just me personally. But let me know if this carbine is uh, worthwhile for you. Next up, we have a Black Market SASG with crit chance and sledgehammer. Followed by a Brazos de Arcabas pair of gloves with crit hit damage and headshot damage. Actually not bad. Hmm. And this was the brand set that I was talking about to use with that shield splinter with that magazine size too. Hmm, interesting. And then we have Providence Defense and Knee Pads with Weapon Handling and Repair Skills. Now looking at the mods, we have Skill Haste 10.3 and Firefly plus one max target. Now must buys, things to look at from Cassie Mendoza. Let's see here, must buys, things to look at. I mean, the Hunter Killer and the Shield Splinter aren't bad. The Dare and the Sacrifice are the exact same items that are in the Countdown vendor. Um, so it would probably be easier to just do that through Countdown. I don't know. I don't know about these two. 
to be honest. But the shield splinter with magazine size isn't bad. I mean, the shield splinter needs help in some fashion because the damage just isn't there for this weapon and it's sad to see. But maybe increasing that magazine size could help it. I mean, who knows? And then, of course, that hunter killer with the S status and armor regions. Pretty nice touch. Now, as far as the gear set items, uh, must buy things to look at. Not really. Not, not really any of them. Um, the only thing that caught my eye was running Hazard on a Hunter's Fury, and I was like, eh, that could work, because you could easily just run Hazard throughout the build, put a few blue core armor, you know, armor cores on there, and then you could be like a tanky uh, Hazard Hunter's Fury. I mean, that sounds pretty wicked to me, but we'll see. And then for the high-end items, the Carbine 7 is okay, but headshot damage, eh, I'd rather have targets out of cover or armor damage. And then the Brazos with uh, crit hit damage and headshots. Actually pretty nice. This is a decent pair of gloves with a pretty nice uh, set of attributes. And that is it, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let's see. Just a quick run through. Shield Splinter, Hunter Killer, the Hunter's Fury gloves, the Carbine 7, and the Brazos gloves. All right. That is it. It is February 1st. That was your Cassie Mendoza Weekly Vendor Reset and Must Buys. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more Division content, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, everyone. Peace.